Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to be discussing another way for you to create content for your site, and that is to use the paging system. And you'll come to the pages area, and then you'll go to all pages if you want to take a look at all your pages. Now in this particular case, we don't have any pages yet, but we're going to start the process by clicking the add new button. And of course, just as we did when we created a post, we're going to write in our title. Then, of course, we're going to create content for our page. And of course, you're going to want to arrange your content the way you want it to appear. And a page system has the very same editing features that a post has. So if you need to create something in bold or italic or strike through, or you need to put a bulleted list, all the same things that you can do with the posting system, you can do with the paging system also. And of course, it also means then that you can insert media if you want to have it in your page. So once you've actually completed your content, you'll want to click publish. And there are a couple of aspects of pages that you want to take note of. Now, if you recall, one of the things that we did was we arranged our post or we organized them by category. And pages are different. Pages are really organized by other pages. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Now, you are looking right now at the entire page menu and you'll notice that there are two pages. And you'll notice that the one page is called Marketing Definitions and the other page is the one that we just created. Now, when you organize your paging system, you are typically going to have a parent page and then you're going to have what's called a child page or pages that fit within the parameters of the actual page category. So what we're going to do is we're going to make marketing definitions the parent category and then we're going to make affiliate marketing and regular marketing one of the subcategories or sub pages of marketing definitions. And in order to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of the marketing definitions page and we're going to make sure that it is the parent page. We're just going to update that page and now we're going to go back to our paging system. And we're actually going to edit the affiliate marketing page and so we'll hover over that page. We'll click the edit button. And when we do that we are going to name a parent for this page. So we want to name the category that stands over affiliate marketing and regular marketing and we're going to make that the marketing definitions page and we're going to click update now if we had more than one page within that category of marketing definitions we could make this one to be the first in all so we can actually order those pages underneath the parent page now one of the other things that's important to note is that we can also set a featured image here in this corner now we've already done that in the post video so we won't do that here but we can set a featured image for a page and we share that page around social media and that image will appear as representative of our actual page. Now one of the other things that's going to be important to note about the page system, we'll need to actually go into the settings area in order to show you what that means. If we go into the, if we go into the settings area, you are going to notice that there is a link here called reading. And the reading page will allow you to set the parameters for the very first page that your visitors see or the home page. And one of the ways that you can actually do that is you can actually click this button and we can make one of our pages our front page. And we do that by going to this page. And then if we decide we want to make the affiliate marketing, and if we decide we want to make affiliate marketing and regular marketing the page that people see when they first get to the site, we can do that, right? And then all we'll have to do then is click Save Changes. Once we've done that, we can actually go to visit our site and we will see the affiliate marketing and regular marketing page. And all we need to do is go to the top, click Visit Site, and it is the first page people are going to see when they come to our URL. And when we come back, we're going to notice that this page is a child page of the marketing definitions, and it's also our front page, and WordPress will tell us that in this area. 
Now, one of the other ways that we can organize pages, you'll see here on the front page, and you'll actually see a menu. You'll notice that when I hover over the marketing definitions link, you'll see our affiliate marketing and regular marketing page. So this is yet another way of being able to organize your content, and we can also do that inside of WordPress. And we can do that by going to the appearance area and then going to the menus area. And what you'll notice is that the menu structure is already set. You'll notice that the marketing definitions is there on the top and affiliate and regular marketing is there as a page. So what you can do is you can drag and drop and put these things in the order in which you want them to appear and have in your WordPress site. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.